name is Joel Terrio. I'm a fishing and hunting guide. I'm an environmental lawyer, and I absolutely love fishing and hunting. That passion for fishing and hunting really has driven me into wanting to protect the environment. I think it's totally natural for all sportsmen to want to protect what they love. The following program was brought to you by these fine sponsors. environment here and our nearest store is an hour and a half, two hours away. We have basically our own hardware store on this lake. We generally will go in and buy a couple hundred gallons of paint every year. When we bring lumber in to work on docks and work on walkways, we bring semi loads full of two by sixes and two by fours in. It's just a constant progression of manpower to keep your cabins up to speed. Me, Miguel and Travis just arrived. Joey and his buddy Andy have been here for a short while. They're already cooking up a storm. 30 eggs. Lord of mercy. Well, I think they're a good month. It's a good number. Uh, is it? Yeah, how long is it to get cracked? It must have been. Floating those eggs in that, in that bacon grease and then basting them, it was the most unbelievable eggs. I know you should only have them once or twice a year like that, but they were absolutely delicious. I think I hear a plane. Oh my God, yeah. What a nice day to fly in. Being up here with no cell phone service, I mean, really, it's nice to not have to communicate. Joey and Andy came through big time. They took care of breakfast, good bacon and eggs. Andy and Joey, first time I ever met them, they came up from Michigan to, to Northern Ontario to spend a couple days with Joel. Joel's been knowing them, known them for years since they started flying with his dad. We're gonna get a little bit of work done around here, and then me, Travis and Miguel are going to jump back in the float plane, fly to another camp, do a little bit more work, maybe get a little bit of fishing done right off the float plane. I was kind of excited to work on these cabins since I've been to so many of them. Andy and I picked out staining a deck, getting in between all those boards, but the finished product was really nice. Hey Andy, look what I found. Oh, that's a great the, uh The roller extender, the camp roller extender right here. I used it last See night that? for something. It's custom made to fit it. And I would Need to, you need to bring to camp the most important thing, and that's uh, a roll of duct tape. That's right, binds the world together right here. Well, that's a nice color there. I bet you Danielle picked that out, not Joel. They're trying to make Joel more sensitive, but I don't know if there's any help. The good thing about brown, too, is uh, it's a color that last longer I find than any other color. Or you can go with a red too, right? Joey and Andy, they were working on the dock most of the day. Between the five of us, we got a lot of work done. Good job, boys. That looks awesome. Uh, thanks, guys. How's it going down there? Ah, that's a fine color. I'm so glad Joe came up with finding a, a usage for all that stuff out of the outhouses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. a fine... Uh, yeah, I guess now that you say that. Is that a doesn't... milk chocolate or? Uh... I'm <laughs> not sure. There's a shed in the bush. We found it. Oh, the, did you? In, uh, this, in this hole. It's a brown semi gloss. So. <laughs> it's a brown semi gloss. Oh, it yeah. looks great. It does have a funny tin smell, but I think it looks great. With all the flies are stuck to it. My gal had more paint on his face than he did on the shed by the time it was over. We better get back it's to work good. before Joel sees us taking a break here. Once uh, they, I think they knocked down about five trees and we cleared all the brush, it opened the camp right up. So the camp looks great now. Uh, there was one tree that was uh, leaning right towards the cabin. But we didn't want to risk it taking off the wrong way on us. I've done this a lot of times where, you know, you, 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 you notch it and, uh, and it works. And then I've done it other times, like a month ago, and you notch it and then it's a complete failure then the tree hits the cap. So it was an interesting uh, maneuver to take that one down. Joel and Travis set up a chain block, pulled the, the tree away from, from the cabin. Here, just uh, hold the, uh, the chain. Hold this right here. Okay. I'm just gonna tie off. I'm gonna tie a loop. 
Real quick. Got it? Yep. Okay. Good. Let me start tightening on this side. Okay. Got to the point where you could just see the tree just coming right over. Looks like it's coming. I don't know. Definitely see the branches shaking. Put a lot of tension on it, and as Joel was cutting the tree, it actually snapped. I think Joel jumped back. That first initial crack kind of all gave us a little bit of a scare. So the pressure's going that way, so I'm, you know, on this side, cutting, 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 and uh, like right away, big pressure split right down the center. So I just kept myself off to the side as much as I can, and the cracks, the ground's shaking. Well, we felt it's crazy, it. man. When we cut it down, it, it uh, it fell right perfect. So I was thinking about making it into a catapult and maybe launching a fish at the other camp. Yeah, I'll give it a few more seconds, but I think all this is going to come together just the right amount of time here. Yeah, that should be good. Right there. Joel had a little lake he wanted to try out, and uh, it was too big to take all six of us. Joel grabbed his two buddies, and they uh, went over there to fish this lake and check it out, do a little reconnaissance scouting. Trying to multitask, trying to get in some camp work, some fishing. Uh, trying a little bit behind schedule this morning. It's a big lake, so we're going to fly from uh, the north end to the south end of the lake. We've got a lot of supplies to bring with us. That's the reason we're taking the airplane. We've got lots of lumber, tools, generators, all kinds of stuff to bring with us. Going there to install a new window in the kitchen of this cabin overlooking uh, the lake. Good push on all that wood, guys. Uh, this is the plan. I got a couple windows in this cabin. This was an old cabin from another outfitter. Real dark in here. Nice. Nice cabin, one little tiny window. So I got a small window I want to punch right here. Okay. You know, you're sitting here doing dishes, you got a view of the lake. Adding extra windows in the back wall, uh, the customers uh, get a breeze in the cabin, plus it's a better view. They're on vacation, they want to see the wilderness, they want to see the lake. So adding extra windows and replacing windows is a constant process. You guys got it? Yep. Shut the doors. On your side, Travis. Watch Functional window, Miguel. 